Okay, so here's the pecan crust. And I uh, chopped up a cup of pecans in uh, that little ninja thing. And a third a cup of almond flour, a third a cup of swerve, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of coconut flour, and five tablespoons of melted butter. So I just put all that together, mixed it up good, and pressed it out in this um, in this dish. And now I'm going to work on the the uh, filling and then bake it and I'll show you what that's like here in just a minute. Okay, so there's the pecan mixture and it looks yellow, I guess from the duck eggs. But this is Dr. Berg's pecan pie recipe and it called for three eggs, so we will see. I'm gonna readjust the pecans a little bit and make it look a little better, but it goes in a 350 oven for 45 minutes. So we'll show you that when it's done. Okay, so there's the finished product. It smells pretty good. And it's got a nice texture. It seems like it stayed together pretty well. But it's still probably too hot to taste. No, nope, I taste a pecan. It's pretty good. I think the seasonings the vanillas and things. I can taste the alcohol from the vanilla, so it's not pure. But if you had good vanilla, I think that would make all the difference in the world. It's pretty good, though. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'd say that's another success. So if you're looking for a way to make the pecan pie, Start with that ooey gooey sticky stuff and the pecan crust and plenty of pecans. I think I put two and a half, almost three cups to this one dish. But I think it's going to be just fine and maybe with some more whipping cream. Okay, another test. Success. Y'all give it a try and see what you think. This is Debbie Does Keto.